all right welcome back viewers in this video i am going to show you how you can use clause directory in your blade piles so let's get started here i have a simple and basic fresh laravel application and i am inside uh, welcome.blade.php i remove all the other stuff just leave this uh, documentation link which link uh, points to the laravel documentation and uh, i view that page in the browser which is just documentation link so here let's uh, try to use add uh, class directive and see how it is how it is going to work so in order to use that we are uh, we uh, we will uh, we have to use add class directive which will look something like this and the way this works is that it applies a class based on the condition that is given or based on the variable that is best uh, it actually works on the on the the boolean based condition so here uh, I passed array in the class directive and I'm saying if the active variable is true then apply the underlying class to this anchor tag so how this is going to work so the active variable comes from the data which is data comes from the uh, it can be come from controller and here I'm passing directly from uh, route so here as you can see I'm pointing to the forward slash which is the home URL I'm returning the view which is welcome in this case and I'm passing data which is just one variable active whose value is pulse currently so that's how we can pass data to laravel blade files or view files so this active variable goes to the blade files right here and here it checks where the active variable values is true or false if it is true then it will add this underlying variable to this uh, anchor tag otherwise it will not, it will not add that variable so let's I, I, if I refresh the page and save this file and this one as well and I, I, if I refresh the page we don't have underline here so that's why because we say the active value is false so let's set this to true and if I refresh the page as you can see we got underline right here so let's see this in the dev tools I press F12 key and let's point to this anchor tag and here as you can see we have text center text gray 800 and underlying classes so underlying class is added due to the condition that we pass right here so now if I set that again to false and save this and if I refresh the page and the underlying class is not there because we we set the value to pulse and it checks the condition where the condition is true or false if the condition is true it will add this class otherwise it will not add that class so we can uh, add this based on the negative condition if i type here not active then it will be like reverse if the value is already uh, false then it will set you set this to find out true so if i save this and see we have the value pulse and now it will show the underline and it, it will add the underlying class because we reverse the condition now if I set this to true and save the page and refresh the browser and we no longer see the underlying class here because we set the condition to reverse we say reverse the condition we said not active if the can if the active variable value is not false mean true then add this otherwise don't add so that's how it works and you can add this anywhere in your blade files all you need is to just use the add class kind of method and inside you will have to pass the uh, array of classes so here I'm passing and those that don't have any condition will be directly added to that tag so in this case it is, it is anchor tag so the text tensor will be already added without checking any conditions and the text gray 800 will be automatically added directly and the underline in this case will be added only when the given condition value or given variable value is true so that's how it class direct to works in laravel especially in laravel blade piles